Hi there, I'm Andy with PCE Instruments. Today we're going to be looking at the PCE PA8000. This is a three phase power analyzer and real time data logger. This product comes with the meter, three current probes, four alligator clips, a user manual, a nine volt power adapter, and it also comes with this carrying case and an SD card which goes in the side here. The current probe's wire diameter is about two inches and the opening is about two and a half to three inches. The probes will be inserted at the top of the meter right here. A1 will go to A1, A2 will go to A2, and A3 will go to A3. The probes and, and alligator clips are coordinated. As you can see, there's an N here, which will go for the N here. The V1 will go to V1, V2 will go to V2, and V3 will go to the V3 port. The SD port is located under this orange tab here, which requires a Phillips head screwdriver to remove. This is also the same port where you would plug in your 9 volt battery, battery adapter. SD card and 9 volt power adapter. There's also an RS-232 port as well. On the back of the meter is the battery slot. It, it comes with 8 AA batteries, which you can see right here. Another nice feature of this meter is it has a little kickstand for you for ease of use. As we get into the meter here, we got a couple of buttons that are important to note. This is the power button for on off. It takes about 20 seconds to initialize. This is the record button for data logging. And you can set that time up from two seconds to 7,200 seconds. This exit button is just gonna get you back to the main screen. This hold bu button is for data hold. And this is your backlight button here. You can change the ranges with this button here. We, if you see right here, it's on auto right now, 20 amps. So if you, if you hit that range button, you're going to go into manual mode. You can see it's now at set at manual 200 amps. This is the phase wire button, which will allow you to select how many wires you're going to be measuring. So as you can see right now, it's set on one phase by two wire measurement. Hit the button. And now you're doing one phase three wire measurement. Three phase three wire measurement. And three phase by four wire measurement. going to talk about the setup button. This is where you're going to go in and set up your sampling time, which is from 2 to 7200 seconds. Also, if you need to uh, adjust your potential transformer or current transformer, you can adjust that right here. And also something very important is your, your time and date. You need to make those adjustments right here. And the shift button is going to allow you to scroll down through through the menu. Once you're finished with your data logging, you can go ahead and remove the SD card from the device and bring it over to your computer. And that time, you can uh, import it into Excel and analyze your data. So we've gone ahead and imported the data into Excel. And as you can see, we have real time, date, time, and then all of the voltages and amperages displayed for you in real time. You can, you can go ahead and make uh, charts and, and graphs however you want to do it. Okay, so now we're in the field and we're going to do some, some testing with the device and we're going to do a um, four, three wire four phase test and you'll be able to see the, uh, the measurements. Well, as we look at the meter we see some different numbers coming in here. Right here we have the, uh, the line voltage, and here's the phase voltage, the line current. Scroll down here and we have the true power of each phase. 
the apparent power of each phase and the reactive power of each phase. Down here we have the total true power, the total apparent power, the total reactive power. Right here is showing the power factor of each phase and the phase angle of each phase. And right here we have the, the watt hour, the reactive power hour, and the apparent power hour. Here is the frequency of, of the current. So thanks for watching. I hope this answered some questions for you. If you have any more questions, just give me a call. My name's Andy, and you can call the number at the bottom of your screen, or you can shoot me an email. Thanks for watching.